basically what's happening is she has these like little bitty compacts all the way up my nose like all the way up there and they have this medicine on them that's pressing against like my sinuses and they're shrinking the things that I have in there and hopefully they shrink. She said this one, the one that everyone's seen, is really big. And she had me go up like this or go back like this. And you can tell like a difference in like my nose, my nostrils. So that's a little update. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. shows it and then your other side this video is a little like life update health update about me because um i'm going through it i'm going through something and if at any point in this video you see my nose running just just ignore it or go catch it Okay, so let me catch you guys up on what's been happening. So, like I said earlier, um, I, I don't even know like where to begin. So, I've always suffered from allergies and making the move to Texas, I felt as though they got worse. And I just thought maybe it's because I'm not used to like the surrounding areas. So, I didn't think anything of it. I just thought my allergies were getting worse because of... All the different stuff in texas i don't know but like a week ago i was blowing my nose and i felt like i had a big booger up here but i couldn't get it out and like i was blowing and blowing and blowing and nothing was coming out so then i finally like looked up in my nose and i saw something so weird like i i was taken back i i, I was appalled i didn't I'll show you guys because I'm sure you can still see it. Do you see that thing right there? Do you see that? So apparently, apparently that is called a nasal polyp, polyps. I'll put the name right here. And I guess because I have very bad severe allergies that cause tissue to grow inside of my nose and all these years like for the past I would say for sure like the past two to three years it's been worse I thought that my allergies have gotten worse when in reality I have had these things growing inside of my nose and um it turns out that they keep on growing and i'm running out of room in my nose and that's why i'm able to see that one because it's getting pushed down because there's so many up here so i saw that i made an appointment due to insurance reasons i had to come back to arkansas and get seen here and um i went today and apparently I have a shit ton of them in my nose. What the doctor wanted was for me to just have one or two so she could just like remove them in the office using like a little, I didn't know that was in there, using like a little gadget thingy, she could just take them off. But because I have so many, I'm actually gonna have to go under anesthesia and get them surgically removed and there's like three different outcomes that can happen three different surgery types that she can do and it all depends on whether or not i have more up here like in my sinus cavity so after today's appointment you know she showed me what's all up in there and now we're reaching out to my insurance because i actually need a cat scan and i need to make sure that my insurance will cover that so we're waiting to hear back from that from them and after we hear back from then, after we hear back from them, 
I'll schedule an appointment to get a CAT scan and after that she'll have a better picture and a better understanding of how many like how they're placed where they're placed and then we can tackle a surgery plan and it's like really weird never in my life did I think I had this stuff growing inside of me and I'm like really scared because no one no one wants to get told that they have to have surgery you know and especially like in your nose like think about it like I may not have the tiniest nose but like inside it's a very small space so what exactly how exactly are they gonna do this I don't know um yeah I'm just under a lot of stress I'm worried about it um it's complicated because I am in Texas but now I'm here I came back with Bryson because Valen started work so he couldn't leave and it's just it's, it's a mess it's crazy it's complicated and I I'm the type of person that I like to have a plan and I, I like to know what exactly is gonna happen and plan you know I like to plan I like to know what's going on I like to know all the different outcomes and like the fact that I have no plan right now like right now I'm in Arkansas taking it day by day waiting to hear back from insurance waiting to hear what the doctor has to say it it's taking a toll on me like I don't like that I don't I don't function like that so if you're watching this if you care about me say a prayer send me some good vibes because I am I'm struggling and um I'm scared I can't breathe I literally cannot breathe out of this nostril and she was telling me today that because I have so many up here <laughs> that whenever this is all said and done, my nose shape will actually change a little bit. So your girl may be getting a whole ass nose job out of this, imagine. And my voice can actually change because I'm stuffed up right now. This isn't really how I'm supposed to be sounding. And that's just like mind boggling to me. like. So, morning of my CAT scan, and this is what we're dealing with. My shoes are gonna get soaked. I'm not really sure how the whole going into the hospital thing's gonna work because I just parked by the main entrance, and there's like a caution table over the doors. So I have a feeling that I'm gonna have to be walking around, and uh, it's just—it's a lot. Update whenever I am wherever I'm supposed to be. I am drenched. Um, I went in the wrong way, but because it was raining, they let me just like walk through here. And obviously, I had to have a mask on. And then they like scanned me to make sure I didn't have a fever. And then I got this thing. And now I'm just trying to find where I'm supposed to be going. But I think it's over here, actually. But, um, yeah. <laughs> it's so insane. Okay, so you probably can't hear me, but, um, after walking around and finally getting to where I was supposed to be, I waited like 20 minutes and then I got checked in. I just finished getting checked in and um, I have my little wristband and now I'm just waiting for them to call me back, back into the um, x-ray room or wherever, I'm not sure, but if I'm being completely honest guys, it's, um, it's pretty scary in here. Well, I'm back in the car. The appointment is over. Um, I would say that it was a very nerve-wracking appointment. Not because of me being scared, just because of how different the environment and like the energy was inside of the hospital. Everyone is wearing masks, as they should. 
Um, but like the walls were covered in like caution tape and in like white tape. There was hardly anyone there. When I was walking to find like which room I was supposed to go into, I was by myself. Like I had no idea where I was going. And it's just, it was so scary. I've never, I have never experienced anything like that. But thankfully they told me that my scans will be back in later today. So hopefully my doctor can call me and we can figure out like what the next step is. I know I'm gonna have to have surgery. I. So like, yeah, I know I'm gonna have to have surgery. The only thing that I am waiting to hear back on is whether or not the surgery is gonna be more invasive than what they thought or less invasive. Because I don't know if I said this earlier on in the video, but if I have those nasal polyps in my sinus cavity, she had mentioned that sometimes people have to get their nose broken to like get all up in there. And that scares me. It frightens me to the core because <laughs> I mean, who wants to get their nose broken? Not me. I don't even like my nose to begin with. I mean, she's all right, but imagine if it comes out worse than what it is now. But this is where I stop myself because I have to stay positive and I have to realize that there's way more serious health issues out there and I need to chill out. So I'm gonna chill out. I'm about to go back to my mom's house and pick up Bryson, but uh, I'm just... I love Sprando, I love my family, I love my friends here, but I just, I wanna go back to Texas. Oh my gosh, do you see it? Yeah, that little thing up there. I have like 15 of them in my nose. We're going home. Hey guys, so I'm sitting here editing the video and I kind of realized that you can't really clearly make out what the doctor was saying in that last clip. So I'm just gonna do a little rundown real quick. She called because when I was in Arkansas and we had talked about the surgery, Bryson, and we had talked about the surgery, she said that it was a really fast, safe and easy surgery. Well, now that she realizes that my nasal polyps are not only just all up in my nose but under my eye and in my sinus cavity um she was like i have to legally tell you that this and this and this could happen because i'm working by your eye socket and i'm working by the bone that separates your sinus cavity and your brain she goes you could bleed into your brain um you could become blind and i'm just sitting there like <laughs> but she swears i'm in good hands she's like i've done this before um, it'll be like a three, maybe four hour surgery. And then you'll, you'll get to go home. Like it's the outpatient surgery. And, um, she just said, don't worry. So <laughs> I'm trying to not worry, but it's hard. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Um, if you have any questions, you know, leave me a comment and I'll try to answer to the best of my ability because this is still so new to me and I'm still trying to understand all of this, but um, stay safe out there, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hmm?